100 years ago, the mighty Ottoman Empire came to an end. Constantinople was renamed Istanbul. The 600-year-old Islamic Empire that ruled over much of southern Europe, the Middle East and North Africa gave way to a new nation, Turkey. Osmanlı Devleti'nin çöküşünün dünya siyaseti üzerine etkisi e, çok önemlidir. The fall of the empire contributed to regional instability, which would later lead to war in the Balkans and conflicts in the Middle East. Some say Turkey's Ottoman past influences the decisions of its current leader, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, whose ambition is to make the country a global force again. The use of these symbols of the Ottoman era serves a purpose, and that is to build a new Turkey narrative that is based on an exaggerated, glorified past. So why do Turkey's global ambitions matter? Because of its unique location and Erdogan's sphere of influence, which spans across continents. The landmass of Anatolia, where much of modern Turkey lies, has long been strategically important as a land bridge between continents. It is where the Ottoman Empire was founded in 1299. Ruled by all-powerful sultans, it was the world's last Islamic empire. At its peak, controlling land across three continents. But from the 1800s, the empire began to decline. It became known as the sick man of Europe, facing economic problems and territorial losses. Growing nationalism led to independence movements in the Balkans, and the empire began to break up. The disintegration was chaotic and bloody, and in 1915 there were mass killings and deportations of ethnic Armenians a massacre that Armenians commemorate as genocide, a term Turkey rejects. Defeat to the Allies at the end of World War I sealed the empire's fate, and the Ottomans lost the majority of their territory. Osmanlı Devleti'nin çöküşünün dünya siyaseti üzerine etkisi e, çok önemlidir. Orta Doğu'nun, Balkanların, Kafkasların, buradaki bütün devletler Osmanlı'nın çökmesinin sonucunda ortaya çıkmış devletler. Turkey's transition from empire to nation state started with Mustafa Kemal, a charismatic nationalist army commander. He rejected imperial control and in 1919 launched the Turkish War of Independence. His military victories led to the formation of Turkey as we know it today. Atatürk envisioned a sovereign Turkey a modern, secular nation-state, which would catch up with the technological advances of the West. In October 1923, Turkey was declared a republic with Mustafa Kemal as its first president. He became known as Atatürk, father of Turks, and began modernizing the country. Islamic institutions were closed. The Arabic alphabet was replaced with Latin. Western-style dressing was promoted, and women were granted more rights, including the right to vote, be elected, and inherit. Atatürk died in 1938. We record the passing of a wise and good ruler, Kamal Atatürk. But his legacy dominated Turkish politics for decades to come. The man who turned the face of his country from the east to the west. Turkey after Atatürk kept a foot in the West, joining NATO in 1952. During the Cold War, Turkey was America's close ally, seen as the alliance's buffer zone to the Soviet Union. Turkey entered into accession talks to join the EU in 2005. During this man, Recep Tayyip Erdogan's first term as prime minister, but when the bit stalled, he began to look beyond Turkey's traditional Western links. Hey, Avrupa Birliği. Kendinize gelin. The major difference between Atatürk and President Erdogan is that Erdogan does not see Turkey a part of the European or Western civilization. To his thinking, Turkey belongs to the world of Islam. 
first as Prime Minister from 2003 and then as directly elected president from 2014, Erdogan flexed Turkey's muscles as a regional power and championed Islamic causes. In 2017, he narrowly won a referendum to expand his presidential powers. His policies have included lifting a ban on women wearing headscarves and turning the Hagia Sophia from museum to mosque. It had been a mosque in Ottoman times, but Atatürk had converted it into a museum as a symbol of his secular republic. These moves and Erdogan's crackdowns on the press, Kurds and LGBT plus communities have led to criticism he's eroding Turkey's tradition as a free, secular democracy, behaving like a sultan. But to his pious followers, he's an empowering leader representing traditional Islamic values and the country's proud Ottoman past. He also has religious support beyond Turkey's borders. Erdoğan'ın her seçim zaferi e, arkasından gelen e, balkon konuşmaları meşhur. Sadece Türkiye'nin illerinin değil, işte Gazze'nin, Şam'ın, Bağdat'ın, e, İslam dünyasının dört bir tarafının sevinçle karşıladığı bir şey olarak Erdoğan'ın seçim zaferi. His increased presidential power and growing popularity across the Muslim world has given Erdogan more influence on the global stage. Bugün Türkiye'yi yöneten kadrolar Osmanlı'nın bir cihan devleti olarak sahip olduğu devlet aklının mirasçısının kendileri olduğuna inanıyorlar. Turkey's position at the crossroads of Europe Asia and Africa contributes to this influence. It has control over the straits. It is a transit country uh, for connecting natural uh, gas and oil to world markets. Turkey also has geographical proximity to conflict zones. There is civil war in Syria, turmoil in Libya, tensions in Nagorno-Karabakh, and the ongoing war in Ukraine and the Middle East. Türkiye'nin konumunun ona verdiği imkanları kullanmak hevesi dolayısıyla Erdoğan yönetiminde çok yüksek. Dolayısıyla otomatik olarak o arabulucu rolüne aday bir ülke. Erdoğan maintains close ties with President Zelensky of Ukraine and President Putin of Russia. He has acted as a mediator in Russia's war in Ukraine and his intervention helped secure a green deal between the two. And in October 2023, President Erdogan offered to mediate in the Israel-Gaza conflict. Turkey elinden geleni yapmaya hazırdır. He has long backed the Palestinian cause, famously walking out of Davos in 2009 after a heated debate with Israel's president over Gaza. Erdogan supports a two-state solution to the decades-old conflict. Under Erdogan, Turkey has increased its military presence abroad. He has threatened trade links with China, Russia, and India, and grown Turkey's diplomatic network, especially in Africa. Africa is a very strong source, and with China and Russia, this new development of the geopolitical struggle is one of the areas of Africa. Afrika'da Türkiye'nin varlığı, Türkiye'nin dünya siyasetindeki etkisini kolaylaştıracak ve güçlendirecek bir unsur olarak algılanıyor Ankara'da. Turkey's global reach may have grown, but high inflation at home has limited its economic power. And in recent years, the country's human rights record has impacted its relations with the West. Turkey is 
perhaps overplaying its hand and relying too much on its geopolitical significance and using it to quell criticisms regarding its uh, democratic backsliding or its foreign policy choices. But the situation is not black and white. Turkey's application to join the EU may be in deadlock. But the bloc has repeatedly relied on Turkey to control the flow of refugees to Europe. Türkiye'yi bence daha doğuda bir ülke olarak görüyordu. Fakat Batı ile Doğu'nun ortasında ve her ikisiyle birden konuşabilen bir ülke olmanın çok daha avantajlı olduğu Türkiye açısından sonucuna da gelmiş bir ülke. As Erdoğan leads Turkey into its second century, the challenge will be maintaining his influence throughout the former Ottoman territories and beyond whilst balancing Turkey's Western alliances.